This video is aimed to introduce a feature that can be found in several of the ImageLine products, most notably their collection of software synthesizers and software samplers. The feature is the ImageLine Content Library. ImageLine has put together a large amount of online patches and samples that can be quickly downloaded from your favorite instrument. So in this video, we're going to quickly look at how to use the library and the windows used to navigate it. In this video, we are using the SAR instrument to access the ImageLine library. And in this instrument, it is called by clicking on the patch name. Upon doing so, the library window will appear. The window will show you a tree-like formation for the patches. Here, as I have already downloaded a few patches for the SAR instrument, we are showing two branches on the tree, downloaded and online. By selecting one of these branches, you can get more info as to the number of presets that are in the section of the library. The downloaded section contains all the patches that I have already downloaded from the service. Well, the online section allows you to access the online library to browse through the vast amount of presets or patches for your instrument. Expanding the downloaded branch, we can see that there are subcategories for the different types of presets. Here for SAR, I have some ambient sounds as well as some leads and so on. This allows you to quickly navigate to the type of sound you are looking for. If I am to expand the online section, you'll see that the same subcategories are found in the download section, as well as all the other presets. To download a preset, simply find one from the list that sounds appealing to you, and double click on it to download it into your downloaded library. You may notice that some of the patches are grayed out. These patches are available as a purchased item. With the patch name selected, click on the eye icon to point your browser to ImageLine's online store, where more information on the patches can be found. The purchase for the patches can also be made there as well. Let's now take a look at some of the navigation functions of the library window. Along the top of the window, there are a few icons. The first is the settings and tools icon. This will present you with a drop down menu that can be used to perform such actions as refreshing your list to ensure that you are seeing the most up to date contents. You can also change how the list of presets appear in the window. As well as some of the more advanced options like choosing the location to download the patches. Now while I got the preference window open, I would like to point out that the list that populates in the library window is dependent on the instrument that was used to launch the window. As I use SAR in this video, then only the SAR presets will be shown. So in the preference window, you can see which instruments can access the library, as well as allowing you to select a different download location for each instrument. Here in this video, I'll leave them to their default setting which is a shared location that all instruments can access. There is also a search function that allows you to type in a name and have the list limit its findings based on what you entered. So for example here, I'll select the online branch and type in leads. And the list then shows me only the leads subcategory. It is also possible to quickly collapse and expand all the branches and their subcategories with the remaining three icons. So in this video, we took a look at the image line library and navigation window to allow you to expand the number of quality presets that can be used throughout the number of image line software synths and samplers.